Hello everyone, welcome to my second Halloween video of this month. I have wanted to do a Wednesday Adams makeup tutorial for so long. It's finally happened and I'm so excited. Wednesday is such an easy, easy Halloween costume to do. I've done Wednesday the past two years. Two years ago it was for a work thing and last year it was just for a quick Halloween costume. I think I'm probably going to do her again this year for something just because I like, I like being Wednesday. She's my spirit animal, you know? She's a wonderful little creature. I got the dress in Primark. It was £13, really cheap, really affordable. It's like the perfect Wednesday Adams dress. It's got like the little white cuffs as well with the little buttons and hair is really, really simple. As I will explain later, if you are not dark haired, then I would highly recommend getting a wig. A black lace front is really easy to get a hold of and I would definitely recommend getting one that already has a widow's peak. I've just realized that my fairy lights have not turned on and I've not had them on the entire video. Bit gutted about that. Oh well, we're just gonna jump a drip. We're really just gonna drip. We're just gonna jump straight into the makeup section of this video in complete Adam's family fashion. That was, I, I shouldn't use that. That's like a really cliche way to get into the makeup part of this video. Okay, so the first thing that I am doing is using this as my primer. You really don't need a lot of this stuff. A little goes a long way. Oh my god, it makes my face look really red. The foundation that I am using is NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade Pale. I think this is the lightest shade they do. I wanted a foundation for Wednesday that would not look like face paint. It wasn't like so white that it would look like face paint. As you can tell already, it's super pale. See, I thought I was pale and then bought this. I'm just gonna bring it down my neck because my neck is too goddamn yellow. And try really hard not to get this on my dress. This is probably the worst kind of dress to have to wear to do this. You'll get foundation on the collar and then white foundation powder will show up on the black. The next thing I'm using is the lightest concealer that I have, which is the Extra Fair Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection. And I'm just going to do this under my eyes and down my nose a little bit. I think the foundation's actually still paler than this. Oh well. I'm using the Makeup Academy uh, Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder. Uh, that is what I use to set my face. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna dust that off with a brush. I can't believe how pale this has made me. Like I genuinely thought I was really pale, but I'm clearly not as pale as I thought I was. The next thing I am going to do is my contouring. I am using Emojination by Revolution, Makeup Revolution, yeah. I am using that one, that one right there, just to get a kind of darker contour. And I'm also using, oh my god, I've got hair on my face, get out. I'm also using like a kind of more, it's quite angled, this brush, just to kind of get a sharper contour. I'm going to do it quite high up my cheekbones as well. Yeah. I've not used these brushes before. I got them in a set. It's like in a mermaid shell. They're a total copy of some company that does proper like mermaid makeup brushes. Don't know what the company's called. <laughs> you can see my big gappy brow there. <laughs> I don't know why my eyebrow grows like that. It just does. It's got a mind of its own, but what can you do? I'm also just going to add a little bit around the top of my face and on my temples there as well. Christina Ricci's version of her. She doesn't actually wear a lot of makeup. You really don't have to go overboard. I'm also using this palette for the highlighter. I am using this one. Oh, look, you can see me in the mirror. I'm using that one right there, the one down in the corner. This color is way more subtle, this highlighter. So that will suit Wednesday down to the ground. That's strong. This new palette is my new favorite. Would highly recommend. For the highlighter on my nose, I am just taking I'm just dabbing my finger in it. Shush! I'm just gonna do it on the end of my nose and a little bit here. If you were wanting to do movie accurate Wednesday makeup, I would highly recommend contouring a button nose in. Jay Bunsey does a really 
does a really good Wednesday Adams and she will show you how to do the button nose thing. I change up my Wednesday makeup pretty much every year. So like two years ago, I didn't do the button nose. Last year I did. Today I am not going to bother, I don't think. I'll just put a bit on my chin as well. Cool. Now that is done. One thing I would say is I considered using for this, the Stargazer um, pressed powder, it's literally white. I have used it for Harley and Wednesday in the past, but I think today I don't actually need to. I think my face is pale enough. So the next thing I'm gonna do is eyebrows. Wednesday's eyebrows are just pretty natural, just really, really dark. So I might go a bit heavier than I would normally on my own eyebrows. What am I using for this? I am using the Rimmel London Brow This Way pencil thingy. Something like that. You kind of can do what you want with the makeup. Like you could do really thick eyeliner. You could do a heavy smoky eye. You could do no makeup at all. It's pretty much you can do what you like. <sighs> She's just such a fun character. I think last year I tried to stay as in character as I could. I'm too smiley to be Wednesday. So it was actually surprisingly difficult. That is a way bigger eyebrow, I think. Is it? I genuinely can't tell if they're matching. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think they are, but at this point in the game, I don't actually care. Okay, eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, so I'm gonna say that's fine. I'm just gonna use my Nivea Post Shave Balm again, and just gonna rub that in. Sirius is sitting watching me. He's like, what are you doing, mum? For the eyeshadow, I am gonna use the Flawless Matte, that one, by Makeup Revolution. This is my favourite matte. Oh fuck, that was loud. This is my favourite matte palette and it's just, it's very pretty. We're gonna go for that one there because I want it to be quite cool colours. I don't want warm colours for this because Wednesday's not a warm character. She has no colour at all. I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. I'm just gonna bring it round into this wee bit in the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm also gonna, as I usually do, bring it under my eye a little bit. The next colour I'm gonna use is the one right in the corner is that one there. I'm just gonna do my creases, my eyeball creases. I need to get out more. And I'm gonna bring that right round, I think. Wednesday has like really, really big, like big eyes. So I wanna try and make my eyeballs look bigger than they are. I'm just getting a pl like a plain brush, a blank brush last time, and now it's a plain brush. I'm just gonna get a completely clean, fluffy brush and blend the edges out. Even though I've put concealer on, she does have like bags under her eyes, so I am gonna I'm gonna add those as well. Going back to the first colour and just go over the middle of my eyeballs. Maybe look up, feel where your eyeball is, and just like line underneath that. Kind of dig deep with that because she does have quite big bags under her eyes. Looking up's probably the easiest way to do it. I'm just gonna buff that out a little bit at the edges. So I'm now gonna take a really thin brush and I'm gonna go in with the second colour that I used, so the darker one, find where my eyeball is and like line underneath. And we're just gonna do that on the other side as well. Get rid of that a wee bit. I'm just doing a wee bit more blending just because I think these edges are still quite harsh. Your aim's basically to look quite tired, I guess, which a lot of people will be like, oh, I look quite tired anyway. I usually do as well, but her eyes are so like sunken and big, I guess. I am actually gonna use the Stargazer stuff, but I'm gonna use that as a highlight for underneath my brow and then just dust it off a little bit. The next thing you are gonna do is put your mascara on. Va -va -voom. Who's this by? 17? Yeah, is it? Yeah. I wouldn't wear eyelashes for Wednesday, to be honest. I don't think it needs it. I don't even put a lot of mascara on. I just keep it very, very, very simple. Cool. Now, this is the part... Hello, cat. This is the part that I tend to do a little bit differently to Wednesday's fairly natural non-makeup wearing vibe. If you want to go for a more natural version of Wednesday, you could either just not paint your lips at all or I would maybe use something that's kind of in, along those lines, maybe a little bit lighter than that brown. But the one that I like to use is the NYX Liquid Suede in the colour Alien. Obviously, if you're aiming for the natural version of Wednesday, then you don't need to do this, but this is what I like to do. It helps if you don't get it on your teeth as well. That'll do. Woo! 
I made a little bit of a boo-boo there, but that's fine, easily fixed. That is the makeup done. See, now, now the eyeshadow doesn't look as strong and I'm like, should I go over it? But then I tilt to the side and it's like, no, it's actually okay. I think it's just the lighting. I am gonna do the hair. If you don't have really dark or black hair, then I would highly recommend getting a wig. Now, obviously Wednesday has a widow's peak. I am lucky enough to have a widow's peak. Anyway, look at it. I have that naturally built in. So I'm just gonna put my hair into pigtails and that'll be me done. Wednesday's pigtails come to like just below her ear. There we go. You can kind of tease this out a little bit because her hair kind of does that bump thing. So I put them into pigtails and then I just ease them out a little bit. Wednesdays at that very special age when a girl has only one thing on her mind. Boy. On the side. And this is the finished look. This is my Wednesday. I am really, really pleased with how this looks. It's subtle enough, but I feel like it's still really like accurate to her character, obviously apart from the lips. Look at the difference of my skin colour from this foundation. Like, look at that. I thought I was pale, but apparently not. I'm so excited that it's finally October and it's Halloween. Yeah! I'm so ready. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Keep your eyes peeled for the other ones that I've got coming up. Wednesday out.